cannon and the Confederate ironclad ram CSS Virginia had just sunk the mighty Union sloop of war, USS Cumberland. The survivors were still clinging to her exposed masts. But cannon steered the big ship into the James River and began a slow 180-degree turn to attack the Union frigate, USS Congress, now aground in shoal waters and awaiting her fate. Buchanan took a dominant position off her stern and began blasting away with his big guns. A few minutes past four, the Union flag fluttered down its staff and a white flag appeared in its place. Buchanan ordered the gunners to cease fire. He sent the Confederate tugboat Beaufort to take the officers and wounded men prisoner, permit the others to escape to shore, then burn the ship. But the Beaufort was driven off by hostile fire from an enemy that had already surrendered. Buchanan was furious. His loyal flag lieutenant, Robert Dabney Minor, volunteered to take a crew and torch the Congress. Under the white flag of truce, Minor was fired on. Virginia's gunners then smashed the Congress to pieces and set her afire with red-hot shot. The enemy fire was actually coming from the Union infantry ashore. Buchanan's anger overwhelmed him. He grabbed a musket and began firing at the soldiers on shore. He was struck by a Union bullet in the upper thigh and taken below to his quarters. He transferred command of the ship to the gallant Lieutenant Catesby Jones. 120 sailors died aboard Congress that afternoon, including Executive Officer Joseph B. Smith. Shortly after midnight, the Congress's magazine exploded in a giant fireball. In a voice filled with emotion, Franklin Buchanan muttered, My brother, Paymaster Buchanan, was aboard the Congress. Early the next morning, Franklin Buchanan was transported to hospital in Norfolk, a victim of his own impetuous nature and regrettable actions. Those would cause him to miss the battle later that morning that forever changed naval warfare, the first clash of ironclad warships, the Union's Monitor, and the Confederacy's Merrimack, the CSS Virginia, with Catesby Jones in command. It was March the 9th, 1862, two and a half years before the Battle of Mobile Bay, the place where Franklin Buchanan would get another opportunity to command an ironclad an opportunity that he would not then squander. <laughs>